So I'd actually like to, I'm really loving the fall colors and aside from that really loving getting out and getting to share this with you guys. I kind of, I don't know, I kind of laid off of vlogging for a bit, just because I don't always have a topic, I don't always, you know, have something to hit home and really preach about, which was really what motivated me big time to take that, to take that trip, old Fort Road. You know, taking that trip was really inspiring. It actually made me want to. It actually made me want to get out and vlog, which is nice and fun. All in one shot. Hey, how are you? Uh, maybe she didn't see me waving. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, so that was really nice to get out and you know just take that trip, man. That was really inspiring. You know. And I know a lot of people say, yeah, man, wow, you know, you've got that, that feast dog, man, you've got the fairing and the bags and the top case, man, you, it's ready to take a trip, but you know what, you don't need, you don't need all of that to take a trip, man, you could, you could have a naked bike with just a little windscreen, uh, go back and check out my, uh, my old Buell videos riding up to Americade, what is that, June, um, June 2014? June 2014, June 2013, or you could just type in the best one, a Buell Blast Americade, it ought to come up. Man, I tell you, you know, I took that sucker up there for nothing, man. Just a little windscreen on there, book bag on the back. You don't need a lot. You just need the ambition to want to go. That's it. You know, this. Uh, the reason this bike is like this is my personal preference. It's just well it came with a fare and so but you know for me to make that purchase was my personal preference it's what i like you know it's what i i wanted and what i consider for me to be ideal but it doesn't mean that it's ideal for everyone else it may not be for you you may like you know sport bike and, and i've seen vloggers take sport bikes on trips albeit uh, actually an r1 an older r1 i think it was a uh, maybe a 2013 <laughs> I don't know if he still vlogs. I don't remember his name, but we're back to 208 here. I think we can go up and make a right and come back down on uh, another road there. We'll let this guy go. Yeah, so, you know, you could, I mean, you could take a trip on a sport bike. I don't see why not. I think some people feel that you can't. And maybe they kind of hold themselves back see look at this I'm gonna get in the fifth gear right now I'm in fourth accelerate up oh I'm gonna have to slow down but I'll get in a fifth gear by 45 GPS it'll be a little clunky but nothing crazy this little farm over here Dressel's farm they usually have uh, sell ice cream and stuff kids love it <laughs> Oh man, they love it. They just can't get enough when you take them there. But like most things, it's a little pricey. So it's not a all the time thing for us. So I'm gonna need a rear tire soon. I, uh, I've i got 18,000 on this rear Commander 2. 17 or 18,000, one of the two. And um, I know I'm coming up on, I'm coming up on needing a tire. Oh wait, no, shit. Yeah, so I know I'm coming up on needing a tire. I always do that. 
I mistake the turns. I thought it, I thought that was it, but I've done it before. Oh, oh here we go. Ooh. That is an interesting turn. So, and I've been looking at some tires. I don't know if, I think I have probably about 3,000 miles left. So, more than likely, what I might do is I might wait till, I might just wait till next season before I change tires. But I've been looking at, but there's a couple things that I could do. I could get another Commander 2 and put on there. The Commander 3 is just too expensive. I don't know why that tire is so expensive. It, it makes no sense to me. I have no idea. But, um... The Commander 2 is still sitting at about 200 bucks. But I was looking at a, a Shinko tire that's in a 18070. It's a little different. This tire here is at 18065. So, you're looking at 5 more millimeters of height. Same width. Just 5 more millimeters of height. And probably would help with the, the Speedo speedo being a little off but um uh, yeah i was looking at that tire also it's just different from the front i've run miss i've run uh mismatches before it's not really a big deal it's not anything that that bugs me or anything like that so i don't know i'll have to see really close to New Paltz. Not that far away. Which is where it just came from. Rolling on 32 now. How many of you guys have any plans for Halloween? I think uh, usually our school they do this this little thing called trunk or treat where uh, all the kids go to the local school and they'll trick or treat out the back of the car so basically like people will have their trunks open and uh, you know they'll give candy to all the kids all through the driveway you just walk through the driveway and get candy and they'll have like decorations and things like that they've been doing it for a good oh man six seven years now they've been doing it for a while it's always fun it's always nice so uh, good good for the kids working this halloween so i uh i think you know, probably won't be much chance of me getting there i don't know it's just, just getting ready to eat this person up real quick I'm not really sure what they're doing. Are they asleep or... Dude, I'm barely on the gas. Alright, we're gonna have to eat them. Let me see if any cars is coming because he's... See? He's not paying attention. bit of brap <laughs> yeah so little bump right here let's go right into it ah oh. Gotta let the front do what it does. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we'll probably do the trunk treat and have a little fun doing that. Fortunately, I got to work this Halloween, so wife has the uh, Halloween duties, taking them wherever it is that she takes them. I went to go buy wood pellets and I saw the price went up from when I bought three tons of it last year. I'm like, man, jeez, price is gone. You know, the price of everything is just creeping. Creeping and creeping. Everything's going up. Not much is going down. They're printing all of this money. And it just makes me wonder, you know, like, I don't know. I just don't see this ending very well. Eventually it'll turn into a thing of, you know, People just, uh, people are probably barely getting by right now as it is. And shoot, I mean, I know I am. I can imagine a lot of other people. I can imagine a lot of other people. What's going on? Well, I do hope you guys are doing well. Hope everybody's hope everybody's good. I'm uh, gonna pull up here and we'll shut the we'll shut off the cam and continue our cruise cruise on back. <laughs> 